Hello, welcome again. My name is Robert Denton. Uh, this is the sixth video in my series on high performance after burnout. Uh, the, uh, the fifth video, I experimented with a, a little suggestion from YouTube. It was something they sent out to all their YouTube YouTubers uh, to make videos um, amusing, funny, because that's what gets uh, most um, views and longest views. Well, burnout, uh, high stress, overpowering stress and burnout, uh, not exactly a funny story, but I am determined to take notice of them and see if I can do better. The first three were very unfunny, very serious. Um, I tried to improve with number five and this is number six. So I'm still talking about the same subject and um, it's all wrapped around uh, my book, <laughs> High Performance After Burnout, Fix the Stress <clears throat> Before the Damage is Done. Uh, this is very serious, so um, I find it difficult to be funny about it, and I was criticised for the last one uh, of trivialising burnout. So hmm, at least I'm getting some feedback from some of my viewers, so, so, so that's good. Anyway, the um, High Performance After Burnout is available at Amazon.com. And uh, anybody living in Switzerland is not going to be able to buy it from Amazon because of the Swiss government restrictions. However, uh, a special email address has been set up for anybody who does want to buy a copy who's living in Switzerland. And it's uh, the publisher, the Swiss publisher in Geneva, uh, firsthousepress at gmail.com. And their address is there. Also the address of the previous uh, videos. Okay, good. Now, um, keeping in mind to keep this as light as possible and amusing, I, I did say at the end of my previous video that uh, discovering uh, all about stress, burnout, and how to get out of it also the uh, discovery, largely through uh, sports mind coaching for high performing uh, top professionals, um, showed me the way to uh, uh, using the um, subconscious uh, brain or mind um, for anything else other than sports. Yeah, the, the sports coaching were the first to, to develop NLP to this level. Uh, NLP then raised the odds a bit, but sports mind coaching then raised it even further. Now, I thought, well, if it works for sports people, then it can work for anybody. And it's what I use to get me out of burnout. Um, it took a little while, it took a few years to master it. Um, but then I did some amazing things and they're, they're all inside the book. Well, all of them, uh, some of them are inside the book. Um, the, the most important thing is I try to explain how easy it is to use the subconscious mind for high performance without stress. Simply because once we program uh, the subconscious mind to do something and it has to be programmed very very carefully because if you if there's an error in the program yeah, of course it'll keep repeating the error. It's roughly what we call habitual behavior but a little bit more profound and deep-seated and uh, it, it's how golfers, professional golfers, play those amazing strokes. Uh, read any of uh, Tiger Woods books on golf and you, you, you'll, you'll, you'll wonder how he does what he did. And uh, unfortunately, when he, when he had that <clears throat> little period of trouble in his life, uh, his golf went out the window because his um, subconscious mind had been thrown uh, so badly 
uh, that it just could not connect with him. Or he, his con consciously perhaps, he was thrown so badly that his subconscious mind couldn't connect with him anymore. And it's only since his life has settled down uh, and he's sorted things out that his performance is coming back. Um, th think of uh, top tennis players. The ball travels at an enormous speed. To be able to react to that at equal speed requires something far more than uh, is capable, the, the, the conscious mind is capable. Well, I thought that, well, if we can do that with sport, why on earth can't we do that with um, in business? I, I really lost my, my group of businesses because of burnout. And um, I, I understand the pain. I understand the devastation to people's life lives. But the other thing I found, and this is the funny thing about burnout, is that it always seems to lead to something quite profound, quite, quite special. Um, as a, a metaphor, I was watching um, a program uh, on BBC4 television called Grand Designs, and there was a couple there who had a, they were in the music business in London, very stressful. And uh, their cottage in the country burnt down. They decided to rebuild and then they had the real whammy and discovering that their insurance has lapsed. Nonetheless, they decided to, to leave this highly stressful um, life in London and go back to their cottage in the country, rebuild it themselves. They were, they were very, very much driven intuitively by a sense, a gut sense that this is what they should do. Now, years later, their, their um, cottage is beautiful, it redeveloped, extended, and they're running two businesses uh, in the country from the cottage, and they, they're in a seventh heaven, uh, simply because they they followed the message of the burnout. All right, this wasn't their minds burning out, this was their cottage, but it represents the same type of thing. Uh, certainly when I went through burnout, I was completely lost, devastated. Um, but, but I decided, well, I, I started to study it, study neuroscience, study the mind, uh, study um, life coaching, study NLP, study sports mind coaching. And I came to understand how to use the subconscious mind for high performance without stress. And it, it became a joy. It became my passion. And, and that is, um, I, I play with it. I create all the time uh, new performance programs uh, and and, uh, and perfect them and absolutely enjoy seeing them happen. i give you a little example that recently happened. I had um, a bad fall, it, well a slip. I didn't actually fall, I slipped and did the splits, but not like a can-can dancer does the splits, but actually sideways. And what it did was to finish off um, an injury to spinal column um, that I had when I was playing rugby at 14 at boarding school. Anyway, three years on and still with the physiotherapy and doing everything I should do and, and exercising every morning, I still have a semi-paralyzed foot. One of the problems was I found that um, if I uh, stepped on something quite small like a small stone or an acorn, or a, a cone from a pine tree, uh, my ankle would, or my left ankle would, flip over and instantly my the left knee would give way at the same time and down I would go. Well, I, I did this twice and I thought, whoa, I've got to stop that. And I wrote myself a performance, high performance subconscious program so that the moment I trod on anything that was going to normally cause my ankle and knee to give way, um, my subconscious brain would would uh, lock everything up. Now, uh, I did that about a week ago. Yesterday, 
I did stay it's autumn and the acorns are coming down and in the town I stepped on an acorn and I felt my ankle and my knee lock up. I thought wow fantastic. Now today uh, I was walking um, along the street and I uh, I had to, uh, well, I was looking out and watching the traffic, but I was crossing the road. And while not watching very carefully while I was walking, uh, my foot stepped into a little pothole and I felt my ankle start to go and then it instantly locked up and my knee locked up. And I thought, that's it. It's done. It, it works. And I, I wasn't doing anything. I was watching the traffic. That is the power of the subconscious mind. I'll leave you with that. I'll be back with another video and um, if, if you're under great stress uh, there is hope that there are these amazing capabilities to do. Um, I'm a trained uh, sports mind coach and a, um, a life coach uh, and, and done all the, the NLP and everything else. So, so I regard myself now as a, a subconscious mind performance coach. Um, and this book, my book, I hope uh, the high performance after burnout, I hope that it, it will give you hope and help you to understand um, there is a future. And um, it's, it's not that you've got to go through burnout to have a beautiful house or, or, or discover a new future. It, it's, um, don't do it. There is another way. You can prevent that burnout from happening, but it does mean you've got to take notice of what the stress is saying to you. It, what is it signifying? What is it a symptom of? And, and it does mean some major changes in your life because these stress symptoms are because you're doing something wrong. I got into burnout because I was thinking the wrong way. I thought I was doing all the right things for my company, but I wasn't. I was doing all the wrong things for me, and that meant that I couldn't continue to run my companies. So take care, and this is Robert Denton.